Set in Los Angeles, California, the film opens with an armored vehicle making a stop at a coffee shop. Minutes later, a group of robbers led by Merriman assaults and attempts to break into the armored vehicle. The guards attempts to protect themselves and stand their grounds, prompting the robbers to kill them. Cops show up on the scene and take part in a shootout with the robbers. In the end, Merriman and his group escape with the empty armored vehicle, yet he reprimands Donnie for killing the guard. In the morning, Detective Nick goes to the crime location to investigate the robbery, making the recently paroled Merriman and his men as the prime suspect. As he has been investigating this group for some time, Nick finds Donnie at the bar he works at and makes amicable talk before later cornering Donnie in his vehicle and taking him out. Nick carries Donnie to a house where his group of officials investigate Donnie over Merriman and his plans. Donnie makes sense of that he just got in with Merriman and his group since he's an extraordinary skilled driver, and Merriman was impressed with his abilities. Through a flashback, we discover that Merriman is planning to rob the central bank on Friday of that week, fully intent on taking $30 million in unmarked bills that would somehow get destroyed. Nick has Donnie slip into the central bank by having him get employed as a Chinese food delivery guy and having him go through the vents to really take a look at that spot. At home, Nick's wife, Debbie, finds that Nick has been going behind her back seeing different ladies, especially strippers. She irately loads up her things and takes their little girls with her. Regardless of Nick's pleas to listen to him, Debbie flings vulgarities at Nick and hits him. She later has a legal counselor go to his work and serve him divorce papers. Nick spots Donnie at an eatery with Merriman and his team, which makes them dubious when Nick gets down on Donnie. At their hideout, Merriman has his right-hand man Levi hit Donnie and investigate him to ensure he hasn't been conversing with Nick about their plans. Donnie guarantees him that he hasn't told him anything regarding the burglary. Nick goes to a strip club and returns home with a stripper. In the morning, Merriman tracks down him yet does nothing, having found him since he set the stripper on Nick to get data on him. Later on, Levi's little girl has a date come over to get her for a school dance. Levi pulls the person to the side to acquaint him with Merriman and the remainder of their group to threaten him and ensure he never really harms Levi's girl or probably the kid will absolutely think twice about it. At the point when he leaves, Merriman and the folks have a laugh. Meanwhile, Nick drunkenly crashes a party among Debbie and some of her companions. He gets forceful with one of the men before he is told to leave. Beyond work, in any case, Nick really tries to see his little girl. The day of the heist comes, Merriman and his team attack the bank and take prisoners. Nick and his men are outside as the turmoil unfolds. The head of police calls and addresses the bank's branch manager for the benefit of Merriman. To demonstrate they are not kidding, Merriman has one of his men take a prisoner to a back room and shoot her. Merriman advises the manager to tell their chief that they want a huge amount of cash and a chopper. The robbers then blow the vault open and escape through an opening in the floor before Nick and his men come in. They additionally find that the prisoner they, as far as anyone knows, shot is as yet alive, however scared. Donnie is at the building to guarantee the group is getting their money. He tracks down the money and supplies it in packs. He acts as a delivery guy. However, he provides the client with a pack of food he left in the vent days earlier. The client attempts to get security to stop him. However, Donnie is gone. Nick and his men make up for lost time and catch him, beating him until he lets them know where Merriman is going. Merriman has removed Donnie and another person off the group. As they attempt to make their getaway, they hit a gridlock and are hindered. Nick and his men spot them and get out their vehicles with firearms as Merriman and his men attempt to escape. After warning other drivers, the police begin to take shots at Merriman and his group. Levi and other men are shot dead. However, Merriman continues to run. Nick pursues him and shoots him through a wall, injuring Merriman. Nick jumps the wall to get him. However, Merriman won't go out quietly. In spite of the fact that he attempts to retaliate, Nick shoots Merriman dead. At the point when Nick goes to examine Merriman's van, he finds sacks with destroyed cash. He additionally finds that Donnie has gotten away from custody. Nick later goes to Donnie's bar and sees pictures of him with a, some of the team members from the heist. Through flashbacks, 
we see that Donnie had consistently planned all that to turn out well for him, including collaborating with Merriman, changing out the money packs with the destroyed bills, and afterward getting away and pulling off the genuine cash for himself. The realization hits Nick at how he was so effectively tricked by Donnie. In the last scene, Donnie is currently in London, Britain working at another bar. His team is close by having drinks and partaking in the riches of their victory. A man from a shop across the road comes in. Donnie serves him and inquires as to whether he works at the jewel shop. The man says, yes. And Donnie gives the man a beer on the house. Please like and subscribe, thank you.